Um, what we'll do here is grab a bunch of alcohol, much like I suggested for the helicopter section, and what we're going to do is engage these guys in melee, which is kind of retarded, but it'll work because I'm awesome. Now, you'll notice that these guys actually work very similarly to the way you actually attack zombies. Now, we can use the alcohol to just absorb a lot of their bullets, and we can just beat the living hell out of them. They take a lot of damage, but we do have those strength upgrades, and once one goes down, he gives you the perfect tool to take down another. Booyah. Ooh, and a level. Nice. Always appreciate the stock upgrades. Alright, so the grand plan here... Hmm. Let's see. Um... Don't particularly want to go into Wonderland Plaza, but... Yeah, let's just see what we can do. Maybe there'll be some clothes in here. Oh, this is not a good choice. This is a children's clothing store. I think that that's a small fry duds. It's a pretty sweet name, actually. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as before when I was running around the Winnie the Pooh mask. Okay, but it's pink. No, not good, Frank. We're going to put that back. Uh, I somehow feel far more masculine running around in, oh, say, boxer briefs? Yeah, and this is a check store. Great. Okay. Um, oh, shoes. All right, screw this. We're doing another speed up. Um, what we'll do is we'll just go for more achievements. I can live with a half-naked Frank. Oh, well, too bad. Get used to the man-ass, because, you know, nothing we're going to be able to do about it. Alright, so this next section is a great place to earn a couple achievements. Uh, we'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and tell you more about them when we get there. Unfortunately, I kind of thought that I could use that, uh, that truck. And right there, I just made a crippling mistake, which I'll tell you about later. When, you know, it becomes relevant and I realize I fucked up the achievements. So, if you come down here without a car, things are far, far more difficult for you. Um, they do provide a lot of these little explodey guys, as we've said before, and you can just shoot those. But there is another trick. You can sort of just grab one of these uh, chopping carts and kind of use it as a mock car. Plus it looks really funny when it's sped up. Wow, that actually, actually got almost all the way over there. Alright, so we're actually in a pretty good section. When you get near some of these doors, We'll use this queen real quick. And then once you get to the near some of the doors, especially the meat processing area, where I guess maybe they can sense the meat, um, it's a great spot for a butt-ton of zombies, which means it's really easy to get the zombie road achievement. Now, the zombie road achievement, I think, requires you to walk maybe 5, 10 feet, something like that, across all zombies. Uh, pretty easy achievement to get, especially down here. Now, here in the meat processing area, you can see that it's now been in zombie infested, much like everything else. Even things that, you know, wouldn't make sense. Doesn't really matter. Zombies still get in there. Like cockroaches. Evil, undead, human being cockroaches. And this is, uh, so anyway, yeah, getting back to the topic, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I guess I was just sort of shooting things because I realized how bad I fucked it up, taking out my anger. But uh, you see, both my guns did not have 150. It's because I wasted the one I was actually trying to save. Now the trick down here is there is an achievement to use every single one of the bullets and have it hit its target uh, for a fully automatic or a semi. I guess that's fully automatic machine gun. Um, and so the best way to do this is to come down here in the meat processing area and shoot one of these fucking cows on the rack. Uh, if you hit the target every single one of the times, you will go ahead and get your achievement pretty easy. You can do it with an SMG, you can do it with lots of things. Here's the butcher's uh, cleaver. It's a pretty decent weapon. About the speed of a knife. A little bit more dangerous maybe, I'm not really sure. Plus there's tons of milk from the previous fight if you haven't used it up, so that's always good too. Um, well, since I screwed around the 
little too much earlier. I guess we could just screw around here since I'm not getting an achievement. Have a bucket. Oh, damn you. That's what you get. Stomp on your balls. Um, hmm. How about the broom? I don't think we've showed off the broom in the LP so far. Uh, it has a nice overhead swing. It's got a pretty good distance. But it really becomes useful when you break the shit out of it. Once the head's gone, it sort of becomes this nice spear. Um, it has a really good distance to it. Pretty much, I believe you can get a zombie before they even get close to uh, melee range with it, which is really nice. That's a pretty decent clearing weapon, especially for early in the game when you don't have too much and you're just running around with 2x4s and shit. Alright, so one fat lady down and a billion goddamn zombies to go, so we'll get out of here. Uh, thankfully there is this delivery truck, well, you may remember from Carlito, his session before. Um, so, just so you know, one of the best ways to deal with the zombie genocide achievement I talked about previously would be to come from this entrance here to the right, go back to where I had this truck, uh, then get out of the, your little red car, go ahead and use this bad Bama Jamma, and he's going to last for a good amount of time. Uh, he has a nice durability to it. So then what you want to do is just sort of keep swinging around through here, hitting up as many of these guys as possible and you can actually just go ahead and turn around this uh... damn it I got caught there we go so you can always just go ahead and turn around watch the damage of your car uh, like as I was saying previously the goal, the goal of this whole achievement is to actually just make sure that you are doing the maximum amount of damage done to zombies without blowing the shit out of your car um, then what all you need to do is go ahead and move down to the middle section on the right, which is where the car is. It's also the entrance to Paradise Plaza, which is where we're headed next. Uh, you'll always see Carlito here if you do this later in the game, but most of the time if you're doing Zombie Genocider, you just start the game. Uh, then what you do is you run over to this car right here, and you do another lap, and head outside to your red car. From the red car, you do another quick lap till you get back to the truck and continue doing that over and over, cycling between your three available cars, doing as much damage as, as you can. Anyways, we got about two hours left, so means we're really, really on the home stretch here. Um, all I really want at this point is clothes. Oop, and a phone call. Only one person that could be. I'm pretty certain everyone else is dead or gone. So with this quick phone book call, Isabella tells us to get back to the hideout because the military is going to be hitting a new phase of their operation. Um, what that means, we will see far, far later. Oh god, there's another one. Stop it, I'm naked. You wouldn't shoot a man in his briefs, would you? Oh shit, another one. Okay, well that answered that question. God damn it. There we go. So, we'll go ahead and put on some clothes, because I'm not running back to Isabella half-naked. Although that would be a kind of funny cutscene, but, uh... Hmm... How about now? Hmm, no clothes here. Alright, we'll just grab something off the rack. Probably, it's funny, I think I was wearing this almost my first video, maybe? Just missing a serve bot head. This game's very cyclical, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut here, and again, here we are, right over back in the North Plaza. Not that much changed in between, just a, another quick, boring run, escaping some special ops, and you head back here to the hideout. And this cutscene doesn't even require you to move, it just starts, so enjoy.
We'll be seeing a little bit more of this man later on.